Well, many people say vaping isn't as bad for you as smoking, but that's a myth. In today's Your Healthy Family, a dentist says vaping has the same oral effects as tobacco and puts teens at high risk of oral cancer. A team of researchers from the University of California found teens who vape had five times the cancer-causing chemicals in their bodies than teens who did not especially from the fruit-flavored vaping cartridges. And Dr. Fred Guerra, a dentist, says vaping negatively impacts your mouth, too, in the same ways as tobacco. It can be precancerous, can lead to gum disease, it gives people bad breath, it gives people dry mouth. We know dry mouth increases cavities. So while people may think it's safer for the rest of the body, it's not necessarily. Dr. Guerra says all dentists need to be on the front lines of oral cancer and talk to teens and young adults about the dangers of vaping. Dentists are in such a unique position to counsel our patients on never starting, or if they have, to do it in a manner that's non-threatening and non-demeaning to try to show them that they have control over the effects of some of these devices so that they can make a rational decision to say, okay, I need to quit. How can I quit? And even if the vaping products have no nicotine, he says, bottom line, it's still bad for your mouth. It's an irritant. And it's a constant irritant. And you've seen some of those people at vaping, and there's a lot of smoke that's coming out of there. Dr. Guerra says early detection, especially in teens and young adults, is key. With today's Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg. And for more health stories, head to fox4now.com slash yourhealthyfamily.